And in business this evening, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, Sari, in the northern region, has launched the first genetically engineered farmer preferred cowpea variety called Songotra into Port Bora Resistance PBR cowpea for commercial cultivation. Now, the first genetically modified leguminous crop is resistant to Maruca vitrata and will now be called Songotra tea, which is high yielding, early maturity, and high nutrition. The Maruca pod borer is a highly destructive insect pest that significantly reduces cowpea production by up to 80% and compromises the quality of crops in northern Ghana. Controlling the pest requires frequent pesticide spraying, posing severe long-term health risks to both farmers and consumers. In 2011, the Sari Partnership Initiative with the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, enabled the Institute to conduct field testing and transfer the BT gene into the farmer preferred cowpea variety called Songotra. After over a decade of research, the Institute developed Songotra tea, a genetically engineered high yielding cowpea variety. During the launch of the first genetically modified cowpea crop in Nyangpala, Professor Paul Busu, the Director General of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, emphatically highlighted the importance of the new cowpea variety introduced by the Institute. Uh, as we all know, the cultivation of the cowpea, the traditional cowpea, uh, because of this uh, Maruka insect pest, uh, you have to spray at the very least eight regimes of uh, pesticide before you can get some uh, appreciable level of yield. The chemical hazards that our farmers are exposed to talk about the costs that uh, uh, farmers will incur. So, you know, there's a significant uh, reduction in the uh, cultivation and production of cowpea using the uh, PBR cowpea. The African Agricultural Technology Foundation's Executive Director, Dr. Kanisius Kanangiri, revealed that AATF partnered with SARI to enhance research institutions' capacity for sustainable biotechnology techniques. When we come to Ghana, we don't bring any cowpea. No. We come and work with the institution, research institution here in Ghana to uh, put that threat into the variety that Ghanaian prefer. And that is where the research is. We domesticate it and we respond to this particular need of any of those countries that we are uh, working in. And by so doing, we also build the capacity to ensure that we have sustainability of these technologies. We build a core, uh, a core group of researchers and we strengthen uh, the infrastructure so that uh, tomorrow, 10 years, 20 years from now, Farmers and seed producers in the northern region pledged their support to promote the new cowpea variety among farmers in the northern region.